Hey guys, RC here. Just doing a really quick, hopefully a really quick channel update. A um, couple of quick welcomes. Peter Yiani, welcome to the channel. That was today. Um, Huddy, no, I don't want to be friends with your bot. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. William Ash Ashman, I think I got you the other day. Uh, let's see. I think uh, Nick Med Medicis. Medicis. Welcome to the channel. That was four days ago. Devon McKay, six days ago. And I think that's all the ones in the last. Ian Johnson and Aiden Murphy. And I think I've got, nope, David McDonald and William Ashman. Okay, now I think I'm caught up. Everybody, welcome to the channel. You can see we're up to 528 subscribers. Seems like we were just cracking the 400 mark not long ago. So thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, real quick, just, you know, wanted to mainly just let you guys know about something that you may not have been aware of. So um, I was recently, uh, if you look on, if you go to my channel off to the side, they have these featured channels, uh, Loki, Nerdstalgic. These were a couple of guys that I follow. Um, I've never asked them for anything in return. Um, Coach Fury, uh, I think he hit me up a long time ago. And turns out he just started doing videos again from what I heard over at General Manager Games. And General Manager Games is a new um, affiliate, if you want to call us that, where uh, I am doing some guest vlogging for them. So what I've done is uh, on my playlist, I have created, uh, you know, I have all my playlists, but I've also created one for Draft Day Sports College Basketball. This is a series that I am doing. It's me doing it, but it's doing it on General Manager Games channel. So I've got the playlist here so you guys can see those videos from here. It's a college basketball journeyman. Uh, we started off at Navy and we're currently at Northwestern State down in uh, the Shreveport area of Louisiana. So uh, Yankee country in Louisiana for Cajuns like me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what's going on. Just wanted to kind of get you guys up to speed. Make sure you guys knew about the basketball if it was something you might be interested in. Now, on the flip side of that, uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to um, Starters Order 7. Uh, they do have a Discord channel. Check it out. Not the most active channel, but some good people. And I have really been enjoying it. And I've been enjoying the game. And I'll be honest with you, I have been getting a pretty good number of views on the videos. So uh, now some of these are, are up, but uh, have not posted yet. Uh, but you can see uh, this just went up. It's already got a view. Uh, five views on uh, yesterday's football manager, uh, but we're running what five, five, four, three, five. So we're running about five views per episode on my football manager. And if you look at the last starters orders, uh, the tutorials were getting 30 to 70, 85 views on episode one. Uh, so 30 plus views on the tutorial, and then uh, you know, even just a look at the mod was the start at mod was 30 views. And we started the new series 37, 17, and uh, then episode three went up today. So, not sure if the drop off there, but you know, at least you know, 17 plus views. So, basically, triple what my football manager, which is my main save, and will continue to be. But it makes me scratch my head and go, you know, should I just change what I'm doing? I, you know, I don't know. But I do this for fun, so you know I'm going to play the games that I want, which brings me to the next part that we're going to talk about. Um, and again, I don't want this to go long. We're about four and a half minutes in. I uh, had a new subscriber today, and that was Harvey Simpson. So, uh, And I wonder if that's Peter Ye Yiani, but uh, when, he, when he subscribed, it was Peter Yiani, and then it's Harvey Simpson as his youtube name i guess but hey i recently found your channel like your videos very much we have similar taste in games i own all the same games as as you apart from keeper rl so i took the plunge and bought it 
uh, keep doing, you know, I wish you would make a video on any other games or recommendations you have. So, uh, as I said to Harvey, welcome to the channel. Um, Keeper RL, I owe all the credit to that, goes out to my subscriber, Tom T, one of my longtime uh, uh, subscribers and commenters. So, uh, gave it a run, and there is a short save with Keeper RL. It's a very fast paced game. But what I wanted to do was to pull up my Steam library and just kind of go through the games real quick. Nothing, I'm, I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, but kind of let you guys just look at the games in my system here, and uh, then we'll take a look at, at you know, what I've played. So, um, you know, a lot of these games, another brick in the mall, just really quick one-off games that are, you know, something I can play without really thinking about it, uh, but not games that I'd ever probably do a Let's Play on. Baldur's Gate, by far one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I don't have it installed on this computer. I originally had it installed on uh, my other computer, but I had bought it as a direct buy predating Steam. And then I think I downloaded the special edition here recently. Oh, the enhanced edition. So I don't even think I've been in to play the enhanced edition, but by far one of the greatest RPG games of all time. And certainly one of the first that really brought to life the D and D world that I was that I grew up with, uh, version you know, uh, version two, uh, or or the the rule you know second edition rules. Uh, Banished, I like the game. Uh, I've tried it as a let's play. Doesn't get a lot of traction, so it doesn't appear to be a lot of interest in it. Uh, City Skylines, it's uh, it's more of an advanced uh, Sim City. And it's an okay game. I, you know, I mean, it's evidently a great game. And I like watching it, but, you know, I've never been into it a ton to, to really give it a full run. Crusader Kings, I, I played, well, I've got, what, 56 hours on it. Yeah, you know, it was, I, I, it, you know, it didn't get me enough to go back and play it more. Darksiders ended up not liking it. Played for about an hour, and I went, that eh, was a waste of money. Um, Dishonored. Couldn't even remember what this was about. I played two hours. So, yeah. I heard some good things about it. I think I bought it. It was, like, real cheap, like maybe four bucks. And I really haven't gone back to to get into it. Uh, the Draft Day Sports Line, you know, like all the Wolverine games, uh, I do have the current college basketball we just talked about. I enjoyed the hell out of Dragon's Age, both one and two. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's a game that lends itself well to a let's play style, but definitely I have, I have done seven or eight playthroughs of that game, uh, during, uh, the time that I've owned it. Druid Stone, that's a relatively new game. Uh, it might still be in pre-release or early release, um, I wanted to like it really bad, and the graphics on it are really, really good. I mean, this is like an actual scene from the game. I mean, it looks that good. Eh, you know, it just, it just, you know, I played for about an hour, and I haven't gone back. Uh, the Dwarves, another game. I wanted, I wanted to love this game so much, and it just, you know, just kind of fell flat for me. Uh, Elder Scrolls, big fan. Uh, the funny thing about the Elder Scrolls series is I played the very first Elder Scrolls uh, Arena. And I have such vivid memories of that game. <laughs> and literally, I bought Daggerfall, and I couldn't play it for about a year and a half because my computer wouldn't run it. It was so high-tech at the time, my my you know computer that was a few years old would not run it. So I saved up, bought a new computer, and played it for a little while, and then, you know, never really got into it very far, and then Morrowind came out. Same thing. Couldn't play it on the computer. Had to wait, a you know, like two years, and then I'd, I'd get a new computer, and then I'd play it, and then Oblivion came out. Literally, every version of The Elder Scrolls, with the exception of Arena, the first one, and Skyrim, the last one, because I had already upgraded my computer prior to buying it. I couldn't play when I bought it. I bought it. I bought the hard box with the CDs at the game store, 
and it sat on my shelf collecting dust for up to, in some cases, two plus years because I couldn't, my computer literally would not run them. Elder Scrolls Online, I am just not going to get back into MMORPGs. Uh, I was a Warcraft uh, freak for uh, a while, <laughs> many more hours than I would care to admit. Uh, I did play it the fr when it was free, got about 20 hours on it, and then I said, I'm done, not going back. I would love to go and explore the world, but I just don't want to get involved in having to group up with people and having to find a group and then having to spend, I mean, with Warcraft, for example, if you, if you were ever in a raiding guild, you know, you would raid for eight to 10 hours a day, both days of, you know, on Friday and Saturday night. And then you would have to put on, so that was 16 hours roughly that we would raid. And then you'd have to put in 30 to 40 hours or more during the week, um, doing your dailies and questing and, and gathering materials just to prepare for the raids. And it just got to be where it was such a grind and it quit being fun. It was a freaking job that I wasn't getting paid for. And I finally went cold Turkey on that. And, uh, I've never gone back. Uh, and it was probably the best decision I ever made. Skyrim. Love it. Love it. You can see 2000 plus hours. And then the special edition, I've got another hundred hours there. Fade to Silence. This was a game that looked really cool, but I had such a hard time staying alive that I, I just kind of lost interest because uh, I couldn't stay alive. Literally, I played two hours and I probably died 50 times. Um, Fallout 3, I've never finished it. That's uh, Or not Fallout 3, I've, I've played it a few hours. I just bought it not long ago because it was on sale. Fallout New Vegas is the one. I played it for 24 hours, and I got as far as uh, the first, like, city area with the with the small casino, and I never got past there. Seemed like a really good game, but Fallout 4 was the first Fallout that I ever played. And yeah, I mean, I've got probably 40 character builds for Fallout 4 uh, over at the Tamriel Vault. Um almost 1300 hours of playtime i geeked on that game uh all the football managers i i had 14 and then 17 which is kind of where i started uh doing my youtube channel uh game dev tycoon i did a short let's play on that i think goblins of elderstone was uh, is early release it's still in alpha haven't played it in a while uh we did a short let's play and it crashed with some bugs but it looks like a really cute game, and I, the developers seem really into it. And I, I look forward to playing it more when it's a little more complete. And the problem is, now that I've kind of shelved it, I've got to find the time in my schedule to kind of be willing to go and reinvest more time to see if it's any better. And that's, you know, and that's just, that's just going to be me with time. Green Hell, I love it, but not very good at it. Um, Hearts of Iron. I have not played this in a long time. Um, really, really liked it, but it's one of those games that you know you it just takes so much to grasp all the concepts and you know figure it out. House Flipper, another one of those you know kind of dumb games, not dumb in a in a bad way, but that you can just kind of play became very monotonous very quickly um but you know one of those games that you can just play without really thinking about it you know when you're just trying to kill time keeper rl uh aforementioned game I actually really liked it i wasn't sure i would like it but it's it's a cool little game uh not very expensive and it's it's like a dungeon diver um but you know it's very quick to play uh, because it's a permadeath you know once you die you're dead and you have to restart pillars of the earth I haven't even played an hour. I haven't gotten very far. Um, it looks like it might be interesting, but it might be one of those ones that just kind of went over my head or around my head and behind my back. I don't know. Kerbal Space, never got into it. I, I, I tried it, played it for an hour, never played it again. And it's been over two years, probably will never play it again. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, another one that I played a little bit, looked like it might be good, and just never 
never kept going. I want to say the the part that got me was trying to figure out how to get the damn horse out of the first uh, castle I was at. And I ended up get, doing something stupid, and I don't know what I did, and I got killed by the guards there, even though they were friendly with me. I don't know. This was a game I really liked. I've got 80 hours into it. I go back and I start playing it. I had to pause the recording there for a second. I don't remember what I was talking about, but Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Uh, I really enjoy the game. I have not gotten to end game yet, but uh, really enjoy the game. But again, I don't know that it's a game that would be a good let's play just because, you know, it is pretty long. Um, and I'm so tied up on doing stuff for the channel that I don't have a lot of time to go in and play play stuff for me, you know? So anyway, that's, uh, that's that. Uh, just started playing Mafia again, so I've got about nine hours into it, uh, but, you know, I played it a few weeks ago. Really like the game, you know, it's, it's a good playthrough, so if you haven't played it, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool gig. Um, you know, it's got some car driving stuff, it's got, you know, but it, it's very linear, you know, you can't save whenever you want. It has, like, story segments, and you have to play the whole segment. If you fail it, you have to go back and replay it. And you can't save till the end or it resets to the beginning. Um, Mafia 2 and 3, uh, I've played those. I bought them separately, but um, haven't played them on my Steam yet. Max Payne, a very old game. I really liked Max Payne. Oh, that was cool. Uh, Merchant of the Skies is one I started playing recently. Um interesting game just you know just a little a little trading uh trading game um not difficult but uh kind of gets repetitious but uh you know again if, if it's that's something you're looking for uh miss survival of course we've tried to play that it's still in early up uh, early access uh they have had some updates uh but i'm still having issues i'm seeing issues with the npcs on uh, uh game edged channel so uh, I, I just cut my last Let's Play off. Motorsport Manager is one that I really enjoyed. If you do want to see a Let's Play of that, check out Loki Doki on his channel because he, ha he is playing this again. I don't think he's doing it on his YouTube channel because I don't see him, but I think he's live streaming it on Twitch. So you could check it there. Um, Music Wars Empire, I did a Let's Play. Uh, the game ended up crashing. I was really pissed off because it was the farthest I had ever gotten. And the Let's Play was helping keep me focused. We may revisit that at some point. But honestly, as far as I know, the developer has bought, taken this game and he's gone with a publisher. And then he pulled it and jumped ship and went solo. And then he basically doesn't respond to anything. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I don't think we need to talk about No Man's Sky. I do have 75 hours on it, but uh, you can see I have not played it in in a little while. Uh, and, that, and that was the last time I played it, which was after like a huge update that brought stuff in that was supposed to be in the original release, right? Uh, out of the park baseball, I'm in online leagues. That's why I only have 32 hours because you log in, you do what you got to do, and you get out, um, you know, a couple of times a week. So, uh, but it, will I ever do a Let's Play on that? I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, Oxygen Not Included, another cool game. I tried to get into it. There's a lot of advanced stuff in there that I don't know how to build and how to make work. Um, so, you know, if I can't figure it out, then, you know, it makes it hard to play. Pillars of Eternity, another RPG style game. It seems pretty cool. I'm just, you know... I play and I get to a certain point and then I get kind of lose interest. Uh, Planet Base, I haven't played this in a long time and it was actually a really good game. Uh, really enjoyed it. I'll need to do a let's play on this again at some point. Uh, RimWorld, uh, I play this a lot on my own time. This is like my go-to game on my own time. I need to bring this back for a let's play at some point. Uh, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. Uh, Rise to Ruins, I bought the game and 18 minutes and quit playing it. Uh, it's early release 
eh, Shadow Run. First off, if you have if you're a fan of like Dungeons and Dragons and and Fallout, great book series. And I know books, but believe me, book series. Find them at your used bookstore from the 1980s and 90s. The Shadow Run series, incredible, an incredible read, an incredible storyline, an incredible world. I highly recommend you check the books out, and the game's pretty cool too. Uh, they do have the uh, the original, the uh, director's cut, and then the extended edition with uh, for Shadow Run Hong Kong. Uh, very much like the game. Sim Airport just bought it, and yeah, it just didn't suck me in. I wish I could find SimCity 2000. That was my favorite one. Uh, but SimCity 4 was good, and I've got probably several hundred hours on it, but prior to getting it on Steam when I rebought it. Space Empires. This is an interesting little game. It used to be free, and you might still be able to find it free on the Internet uh, at the developer's website. On Steam, of course, you have to buy it. But this was a cool little game that a friend of mine introduced me to. And I wouldn't mind firing it up at some point. Uh, Star Wars uh, Dark Forces, 19 minutes, and I'm a, I'm a Star Wars geek. Couldn't I, Really, I found it unplayable. Uh, Fallen Order, I played it, and then, you know, it just got to the point where the game looked good, it felt good, that, but it just felt too linear for me. Instead of sandbox, he was like, go from point A to point B to point C, and you're done. And I just kind of lost interest in it, uh, seriously. Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, I just finished another playthrough of that on my own. Uh, classic, classic game. Starter's Orders, uh, of course, I've got the current Let's Play on that. Stranded Deep, I do like. Uh, there are some uh, some changes that are coming out. And uh, so I'm kind of waiting for that just to kind of balance itself. Subnautica, I, I did a Let's Play on this and just nobody was really following along. So, uh, you know, I, I played 66 hours, have not seen Endgame yet, but um, really, really beautiful game, beautiful game. Surviving Mars, another game that was really good uh, that I'll need to pull out of the archives at some point. Because uh, it's been it's been about six months since I played it. Uh, this Grand Life, again, it, it kind of one of those games you play and it just you can you know it's mindless. You know you can play it without really paying attention. Same with Two Point Hospital. Uh, you know cute games that you know. Same with Weed Craft. Those are all birds of a feather. Oh, The Witcher Three, one of my favorite games, right up there with uh, Skyrim and Fallout Four. Um, oh, I loved this game. I, I, I had not played The Witcher or The Witcher 2, and honestly, now that I've played The Witcher 3, from a graphic perspective, those games are almost unplayable. <laughs> uh, XCOM, I played it for a little while, and it was okay, and then I just kind of, you know, fell off to the side. And Wylands, I actually won. I couldn't even tell you what this is about, because I, I forgot. Um... So I don't even know what it's about. But anyway, that's my current collection of games. And if you want to look at uh, sorted by hours played, so 2,100 hours, almost 1,300 hours, coming up on 1,000 hours of RimWorld. Uh, we've got, what, 8, 16, 22, 23, 24, 3,032 about 3,200 hours of Football Manager, all told. Um, 332 on The Witcher, 200 on Surviving Mars, almost 200 on Stranded Deep, uh, Miss Survival, 139, Shadowrun, 134, Green Hill. Uh, you know, so anyway, there you go, um, based on hours. So... Hope you guys enjoyed that trip down memory lane. It still turned out to be longer than I thought, and I know there's one guy out there that's going to make a comment about it. I thought this was supposed to be short. Sorry. But uh, anyway, hope that answers your question uh, that, uh, that you asked there a minute ago.
Harvey. Hope that answered that question. And uh, yeah, so a couple of games that I do want to pull out of the archives for some future uh, Let's Play, Surviving Mars, Planet Base. Um, you know, we'll pull those out at some point in time. And uh, God, I really want to go in and I want to get the other Dragon Age. I want to get the, the second one and play that again because I, I just finished... Probably in the last year, I've played that again, and I wouldn't mind firing up Motorsport Manager again. About Sid Meier's Pirates. And again, these are the hours on Steam. A lot of these games I owned before Steam even existed. Uh, so, you know, there's many, many more hours on some of these games. Guys, that's, a hat. that's it. We'll call that a quick episode and wrap up. And uh, we'll see you guys either over on the pitch for Football Manager or out on the track for starters order seven. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.